Podcasting. Good morning, Mega Podlings. It's Crazy Joe. It is Tuesday, October 5th. And today, on store shelves everywhere, there's a new Blu ray you can pick up. It's on sale today, it's on sale now. Blu ray, DVD, 4K, also available digital. If you want to pick up a digital copy, you could do that as well. Space Jam, A New Legacy, the latest Space Jam movie that came uh, debuted earlier this year, theatrical and on HBO Max. And now you can own it. Uh, so our good friends at Warner Brothers sent me this for review, and I have uh, dutifully reviewed it. And I'm, I'm going to give you kind of two reviews. I'm going to give you my review <clears throat> And then I'm going to give you my kids' review, because they are very different, and I think that's important. Uh, personally, I, I did not like this movie. I didn't like this movie at all. I um, I thought it was terrible. But I'm not the target audience. Uh, my kids, ages 13 and 6, they are the target audience, and they liked this. They liked it quite a bit. So take that into account. Uh, I would not say that this is a good film for adult viewers. Uh, I could be wrong. Maybe, maybe your opinion is different than mine on this, but I thought as a 45 year old guy <clears throat> that this movie was fairly terrible. Most of the jokes did not land. The story I thought was ludicrous. Um, it just seemed like an excuse to fit as much Warner Brothers IP into a movie as possible. But if you're the target audience, which my kids are, it played perfectly. So not every film is for us, and that's important to remember. So your opinion of the movie may vary, but we're here to talk about the disc. That's what we're here to review. Uh, the movie, we reviewed the movie months ago, right? We're here to talk about the disc. Is this disc worth picking up? And first of all, the disc is only worth picking up if you're a fan of the movie. So if you, you, if you hated this movie, you're probably not going to be picking the disc up. But if you are a fan of the movie, should you get the disc? Should you just stream it online? What should you do? Well, I'm going to tell you, this is a disc worth picking up. The picture looks uh, the, great. I mean, it just, in 4K quality, the picture could not look better. It, it really, it really pops off the screen. It, it Perfect picture. Absolutely perfect picture. You also, you know, as with, you know, this set here, we get the 4K and we get the Blu-ray. There they are. As Warner Brothers usually does, all the special features are on the Blu-ray. They didn't put the special features on the 4K itself. You got to pop in the Blu-ray disc if you want those special features. So what do you get uh, in terms of special features? Well, there are four, four featurettes. And we get one called First Quarter, Game On. We get one called... Second quarter, teamwork. Third quarter, out of this world. Fourth quarter, the looniest. And then we also get deleted scenes. Now, what are these featurettes? What 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 are, what do they give you? Well, they're pretty much just a breakdown on the movie. Uh, the 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 visual effects, the motion capture, the work put into it, the putting all the different IP characters into the film. Uh, they they give you a little bit of. You get to see people in makeup getting made up to look like Pennywise and the Penguin. You get to see a little bit of the uh, the other basketball players, the basketball players who form the Goon Squad, which is the the, the bad basketball players. Of course, they're, they get turned into mutants, and we see the basketball players in their motion capture suits on the set. A little bit of behind the scenes with the green screen and... You know, it's it's a movie like this. Love it or hate it, a lot of work went into it. This is this is a movie that had an extensive amount of work with all the different CGI characters and CGI backgrounds, and these featurettes give you a bit of a peek behind the curtain. Like, yeah, here, take a look behind the curtain, see what you got there. So there you go. I think if you this is a movie you like, if this is a movie you want to uh, watch again and again. You're not going to do better than this disc. The picture's great. The featurettes, even as someone who wasn't a fan of the story, I found the featurettes interesting because work went into this, and I can appreciate the work even if I didn't appreciate the final product. Uh, the, the special effects and the CGI and the all of that, the animation, very well done. 
Uh, my issues were with the story, the script. I didn't think it was funny. I, and, to, and let's full disclosure, I didn't like the first Space Jam either. Uh, I'm a little surprised they made a sequel to Space Jam because in my mind, um, growing up in the 90s, I remember the first Space Jam was not a well-regarded film amongst um, film critics and audiences of my age. But apparently, much like this, this played to my children... Apparently, the original Space Jam really played well for children, and they grew up with a nostalgia for it that I, being in my 20s at the time, did not have. So, likewise, I'm sure my kids are going to grow up with a huge nostalgia for this film. And maybe 20 years from now, there'll be a Space Jam 3, and my kids will be taking their kids to see it. Who knows? But, yeah. Uh, the the picture quality, uh, the, the man, the image on the 4K here, it really looks great. It really looks terrific. There's a scene in the movie where the, the I hope I'm not spoiling anything. I think it's in the trailers, but there's a scene where the Looney Tunes characters get transferred from 2D animation to uh, computer generated uh, animation, like you know your Pixar style animation. And I've always been critical of that when 2D characters are rendered in that kind of 3D computer animation because they weren't really originally designed that way. That's not how those characters were designed to look. And I don't often think that they translate well. In this film, they translate very well. When we get to that scene and we see Bugs and, you know, uh, Wile E. Coyote, Daffy Duck get turned into CGI, they really look great. It... <laughs> It's like, if you've ever seen Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is an example of doing it poorly. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse looks like garbage. Like, the visually, it looks like garbage. Here, when they do it, it looks great. And of course, budget is everything. The amount of money that went into this movie versus the amount of money that goes into an episode of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. I think that says it all. So there you go. There's my review. Space Jam, A New Legacy. It's on physical media today you can go down to wherever you get your physical media pick it up on 4k blu-ray dvd whatever form of physical media you choose i say get it on 4k if you got a 4k tv and a 4k player you're not going to get a better image than this this disc looks great this disc is a thing of beauty and uh, if you've got kids they're probably going to eat this up you, you know you may not be the target audience but, but your kids are probably going to like it. I know this from experience. I know I watch. The only reason I watched this is because my kids wanted to see it. I, I really had no interest in this movie. Watched it with my kids and they really dug it. I think this is a movie they're going to watch again and again. So uh, there you go. Everybody on sale now today. Support physical media. If you want to keep getting physical media, you got to support it with your wallet. Go buy it. And keep wearing those pajamas. Keep wearing those pajamas. With the plastic feet. Keep wearing those pajamas. Tell everyone you need. Keep wearing those pajamas. With the back door flap. Keep wearing those pajamas. Don't open it to trap. Oh, it's a trap. Some people call them bitches. Some people call them jammies. They can come embroidered with big money and no whammies. They can have a hundred tiny commander and damas. But no matter how they look, just keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep on wearing those pajamas. Keep wearing those pajamas. And now we're having fun. Keep wearing those pajamas. And now the song is done.